play of the first quarter coming up in just one minute. Tennessee kicked off to begin the football game. Washington State moving with the football for three first downs and having the ball down first. Third down and five yards to go at the 26th to pitch this time to Mays. He moves through the right side of the line for a first down and it's going to be first and 10 at the Tennessee 19. 17 Rippon, the quarterback. This is Calvin, who's starting for the injured Porter, last year's leading rusher for Washington State out of this game with an injury. Picked up about six yards on the play. Second and four. Nothing and nothing. Game just getting underway. What Washington State is moving. That was Walsh stopped by Kofer, the strong safety. It will be third down and three at the 12 yard line. The pass. Touchdown. It was caught there by James. And so Washington State jumps on top. The extra point by Trout is up, and it is good. The touchdown pass was thrown from Rippon to James, and Washington State, before a crowd in excess of 93,000, out on top of Tennessee, 7 to nothing. Trout, who last year was 25 of 25 on extra points, will be kicking off. Deep for Tennessee will be sophomore Wesley Pryor. State shifting. They overload with seven men to the left, three on the right side of the placement kicker. And he goes toward the strong side. This is Pryor. Pryor gets it back up for a return of 21 yards, knocked down by Collins. So Tennessee will open with Tony Robinson, a junior from Tallahassee, Florida at quarterback. His first start. Robinson. Complete. Tim McGee makes the reception. And it will be second down and two. Robinson with a second look. His first pass complete to Tim McGee. And the Volunteers will have it second down and two. Trailing seven to nothing. At center, Raleigh McKenzie. Mayo and Upton, the guard. Robinson, complete. That's McGee again. He dies very, very close for the first down. Knocked down by Waters. It's first down, 10 to go for Tennessee, trailing seven to nothing. Robinson, a check off at the line. It's complete. Bill Eichholz, a second look. Robinson in the pocket. Eichholz with a diving reception. 12 yards, first down. Tennessee trailing seven to nothing, first quarter. 30, Cooper the fullback, Johnny Jones at tailback. Jones, still running. Johnny Jones. All the way down to the Washington State 34 yard line. A second look. There you see the blocking up front. Mayo and Cooper. And Cooper knocks another one out. Downfield a block by McGee. And Johnny Jones goes for 23 yards in a first down. First and 10 at the 34. Robinson. Clink scales. Clink Scales ridden out of bounds, seems to be shaken up a second look. Fine reception by Clink, uh, Clink Scales, turns on the speed, breaks a tackle, pounded out of bounds, injured on the play and leaves the lineup. A third look. Clink Scales, 14 yards, first down and 10. Robinson. Jones, 20, 15, fumbles the football. I think he was down. He got to the 10-yard line. Washington State recovers the fumble. One official has indicated Washington State has possession. A second look. Johnny Jones 
cutting back against the grain, knocked down, loses the ball, but it will be ruled that he was down before he fumbled it. And so Tennessee will have it. Trailing seven to nothing. The volunteers with the ball. That's Swanson in motion. Jones, 10, 5, touchdown, Tennessee. Tennessee trails 7 to 6. Johnny Jones. A second look. You see Mayo pulling. The block by Mayo on 96. Jones cuts back and wheezes his way into the end zone from the sideline. Johnny Jones cutting back, scampers into the end zone, and Tennessee trails 7 to 6. Farmer will snap, Sells will hold as Fuad Reves will be attempting a tying extra point. To the end where you can watch it, it's up, and it is good. So, Tennessee and Washington State are tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Washington State tied 7-7 uh, seven seven as number four, Fuad Reves will be kicking off first quarter of the football game at Thielen Stadium. There's the whistle. Here comes Reves to kick off from the volunteer 40-yard line. This is James Deep at the 4, 10, 15. Down he goes at the 18-yard line. Kelly Ziegler makes the tackle for the volunteers. Washington State, first down, 7-7 seven to seven the score. The ball's at the five-man front. Rippon. That's Mays up the middle. Got a couple, maybe three. It will be second down seven. Running backs Calvin and Mays. Quarterback Rippon in motion. That's Marshall. Tennessee stacks up. This time Calvin. Gain of about three yards. It'll be third down and four. Tolls was there. A second look at the defensive play by Alvin Tolls. 71 is Miller, the middle guard. 64, Steve Douglas. The other tackle in the down line of three defenders, Robbie Scott. Rippon, third down to throw, pass incomplete. It was intended for Burris, and so on fourth down, into the game to punt will be Harper. The punt is away. It bounces, and backing away is the receiver, Benton. And Washington State will down the ball as Tennessee goes on offense. First down and 10 to go at the 34-yard line. Tony Robinson at quarterback. Three wide outs for the Volunteers. Running back split. B.B. Cooper. And Cooper rambles forward for a pickup on the play of close to five yards. A second look at the run by the senior from Huntsville, Alabama, Kenneth B.B. Cooper. On the play, penalty marker down, and it was offsides against State, so it's first down five for the Volunteers, taking the penalty instead of the gain. Robinson's pass, low, incomplete, intended again for Eichholz. Seven to seven the score, first quarter of the game. The give this time is to Johnny Jones on a second down try. Picks up four yards. Third and one. And Tennessee comes with that power eye. Howard and Cooper up close. The standing tailback is Jones. And Jones knives to the left side. I don't know. It'll be close. Fine defensive surge by Washington State. And it is first down. Ten to go for the Volunteers. 7-7 seven to seven the score. Now you see Washington State into a four-man line against the Vols. A delay to Jones. The right side, not much there this time. Fine defensive pursuit by the middle guard, Burke. Gain of a yard, second and nine. Tennessee shifts from the split back to the I formation with an audible. Robinson will keep the ball. 35-30, knocked down as he moves on the run, close to the 26. Gain on the play of close to eight yards. It'll be third down, about a yard to go. A second look at Robinson. 
six four quarterback from Tallahassee. And it's third and a yard for Tennessee at the 47 yard line. Jones spinning, fighting for fumble, recovered Washington State at the 39 yard line. Fumble by Tennessee, recovered by Brown. Turnover number one, a second look as Jones got the first down, but struggling for extra yardage. I think Blakeney is the linebacker who got his hat on the ball. Ripping to throw. Screen, left side, Tennessee battling out there is Jones. And coming up to help on the right side is Brown. Second down, Washington State. Score tied 7-7, first quarter. Ripping, the pitch, Mays. Tennessee covers it well. Look at the pursuit. 44 is told. 31, that's Duncan. 45, Xander. A second look. Tennessee stringing it out. Now he cuts up, and there you see the Volunteers. Really not overrunning the play. Well played defensively. Third down, Washington State. Eight yards to go. In motion, that's Burris. Rippon looking for Burris. The pass across the middle, batted down. That's Carl Xander, 45. Incomplete. Fourth down. Charles Benton will drift deep for Tennessee, standing back at about his own 10-yard line, as Harper will punt. Fine punter, gets it away, high spiral. This is Benton under the ball at the 10. Fumble, recovered, Washington State. The fumble, and it's Brown recovering. The fumble, just bouncing away from Benton. Through the left side of the line, carrying the ball. That's Calvin for a gain of three. Tennessee digging in defensively, nearing the end of the first quarter. Rippon, option keeps, stacked up, short of the five-yard line. As the first quarter comes to a close with a score, Tennessee seven, Washington State seven. All right, 7-7 seven seven now, as you see in the second quarter, getting underway. Washington State moving toward the north end zone. Third down, five to go for the first down, six to go for a touchdown. Rip and pass is incomplete. Tennessee defending well, stride for stride. That was Tommy Sims. So fourth down comes up, and it will be John Trout into the football game. Blunt will hold a field goal attempt, 23 yards. You can watch it from the end zone. It is up, angling perfectly through the uprights. And Washington State jumps back on top of the Volunteers by a score of 10 to 7. Tennessee returns the kickoff to the 20-yard line, actually a touchback. And so we pick up the action as the pitch will come to Johnny Jones. Bursting through the right side of the line and battling forward for a gain of three yards. Second and seven at the 23. Cooper, the fullback. Jones, the tailback. Number 10, Robinson, the quarterback. Stumbles, looks, throws the football, complete on a diving grab. Who was that? I told, number 85. Gain of four yards on the play. A second look. What an arm by, what a grab by I the senior from Farragut High School in Knoxville. Third down three. Robinson, complete. Great effort by McGee, and that will be enough for a first down and 10 to go. The Volunteers at the 33-yard line, trailing by a score of 10 to 7. You see the linebackers dancing. You see Robinson in trouble, and Robinson has swarmed and dropped at the 30-yard line. Excellent defensive deployment that time by Washington State, a very fine defensive football team. They won five straight games to conclude the 83 season, including a victory over Washington, knocking the Huskies out of the Rose Bowl for the second straight year. Robinson, complete. Beautiful pattern to Eichholz again. 14 yards on the game, a second look. Bill Eichholz, a walk on to Tennessee, 159 pounds. Tennessee's got a first down 10 at the 44-yard line. Trailing 10 to 7, second quarter of the football game. Robinson gives. Johnny Jones doesn't have much this time. Hodge finds strong tackle defensively, stopping him after a gain of a yard. 
second and nine. Power fumble. It will be Washington State recovering. The pitch was hastily made by Robinson as, just as we mentioned, there you see the pitch behind Jones. He tried to pirouette and grab it. It bounded away from him, and Washington State has another turnover. There you see the bounding ball, and it's recovered. That's Howard, and Washington State has the ball now at the Tennessee 32-yard line. First game of the season. Rippon's pass, incomplete, and a penalty marker is down. Burris, the intended receiver, pass interference is the call against the Volunteers. It's a first down at the 20-yard line. Washington State threatening again. That's Marshall in motion. Bearing the ball this time was Walsh. Got a yard. Xander makes the stop. Tennessee's defense really being tested here in the first half. Washington State enjoying excellent field position. Burris in motion. Rippon to pass. Pumps, throws, deflected. 44, Alvin Tolles. A linebacker dropping back, a second look. Tolles left hands the ball down to the super turf of Shields Watkins Field. Third down. Rippon. Incomplete. Intended for John Marshall, 16 is Sims, 42 strong safety, Joe Cooper, 51 Reggie McKenzie. So here's Trout to try another field goal. It is up from 36 yards, it is good. Washington State leads Tennessee by a score of 13 to seven, but the volunteer fans might be really breathing a sigh of relief. It could very well have been 21 to seven as Washington State has had the ball in excellent field position twice, recovering a fumble at the 11. This one at the 32, they end up with two field goals. Trout will be kicking off. Deep for Tennessee will be Wesley Pryor. Here's the kick. Pryor at the five, 10. Looks for a wall, 15. Gets a block, 20. This is Wesley Pryor to the 30. 40, 45, 50, Pryor returns that football all the way down to the 42-yard line of Washington State. Wesley Pryor, sophomore from DeSola, Texas. A second look. Let's see if we can pick up the blocks. That's Phoebe Cooper, who made the key block in the corner. And here you see the speed of Wesley Pryor. Waters made the saving tackle, but Tennessee bounces back at its first down. This is fullback Howard crunching up the middle as the freshman from Lima, Ohio, plunges for five. Second and five for Tennessee, trailing 13 to seven in the second quarter. Four-man front, Robinson sees the chains in defensive alignment, checks off. Robinson, Jones gets a block, 35, Jones 30, Jones 25, Jones fights his way down to the 22-yard line. A second look, the blocking up front, 64, 74 it was. That's Moon making the key block. And Jones carries, and it will be for Tennessee first down at the 21. Moon and Mayo on the right side. Howard up the middle. Howard still running. Howard with the football, pounding his way forward. William Howard, Moon out in front. Two hundred fifteen pound freshman fullback William Howard, and Tennessee will have it. First down and goal to go at the nine yard line, trailing thirteen to seven. Up over the ball comes McKenzie, Mayo and Moon on the right side. Wait a minute, that's Hibbett. Johnny Hibbett is in there now at the pivot, and McKenzie has moved to a guard as Upton comes out. Cooper in there at fullback now. There's that five-man line again. Pitch, Johnny Jones. Jones. 
Jones rolled down at the one yard line. Jones working off the hip. I think that was Mayo. The ball's back to the full house backfield. Jones the tailback. Jones hurdle, touchdown, big on. Johnny Jones comes catapulting over the right side of the line, right over Mayo. And Tennessee's pulled into a tie. Ravage will kick toward the south end. The kick is good. Tennessee marches downfield to score. And right now it's Tennessee leading 14 to 13. After scoring, Tennessee kicked off, and we move along as Washington State is moving with the football. And then this is Rippon, who is thrown for a loss by Robbie Scott. A second look at Meg County's Robbie Scott on top of Rippon, the fine quarterback for Washington, for Washington State. Second down, 11. But let's take a third look. 65, Robbie Scott, sophomore. Played nose guard last year, has moved to a tackle. But now you see Tennessee's defensive alignment shifting. Rippon at the 45. Pass. Incomplete. Almost intercepted by Carl Sanders. The senior linebacker from Mendham, New Jersey. It's third down 11. Rippon. Good protection pass. On the money. Complete. That was Chase who pull down, pulls down the pass, a second look, right in the crease, banged immediately by Clark. Washington State at the Tennessee 22-yard line, spinning to the right side. The pitch to Mays, McKenzie and Sims. Three-yard gain, second down seven at the 19. Tennessee by a point. Oh, what a stick. That's Darren Miller. From Flemington, New Jersey, red shirt freshman, the nose guard. A second look. A third look at Darren Miller in slow motion. And again, it's a loss. Tennessee leads 14 to 13. Rippon, plenty of time. The pass is complete. Diving catch. That's Burris. Beautiful, beautiful throw by Rippon. What an arm. It's a wobbly pass, but there you see the attempted deflection, but instead it's a completion. It's first down and goal to go for Washington State. The give to Calvin. Not much there, Miller. Dale Jones, 71, 44 tolls, 45 Xander, 54 Jones. A swarming host of orange-clad volunteers. Second down goal. Washington State trails by a point. Rippon on the option. Great reaction. Who was that? Tolles. Alvin Tolles, 44. Second look, and what an adjustment by Tolles. Playing and keying on the quarterback. It's third down and goal. Rippon. Running back split. Rippon. Wants the pitch, will keep. No, he did not make it. The Tennessee defense has held yet another time. 54 Jones, 14 Brown, 64 Douglas. The second look. Rippon wanted a pitch. There's Xander, 45. 31 Duncan. Beautifully played by Jones, who forced him to the inside, took the pitch away. Here's the field goal try by Trout. It is up, and it is good. So the score is now 16 to 14. And it will be Washington State, which has led 7 to nothing, then 7 to 7, then 10 to 7, 13 to 7, trailing 14 to 13, now up 16 to 14. Fire. Breaks it to the 26-yard line. And Tennessee will have the ball first down. Horndock made the tackle. First and 10. Robinson is team in the I formation. The throw is Robinson. The pass. It's complete. 
making their grab and dancing out of bounds is Tim McGee. Short of a first down, it will be second down and five. A second look, Tim McGee. Wide receiver, split end from Cleveland, Ohio. Played at John Hay High School, where also a former volunteer, Anthony Hancock, played his high school football. Johnny Jones, as Tennessee's fighting the clock, running through the left side, trying to pick up the first down. Got only about a yard, so now Tennessee with really less than a minute to go. In the first half, trailing by two. Robinson to throw, in trouble. Spins free, in trouble again, still on his feet. Robinson looking, pass, complete. C.B. Cooper, 35, 40, 47-yard line, Cooper. The clock will be stopped with the marking of the first down. And Tennessee comes to the line with Tony Robinson. Throwing the pass, it is incomplete out of bounds, intended for Eichholz, but really intended to stop the clock. Robinson, as we take a second look at that play just a moment ago, to B.B. Cooper, at 5-6, B.B. Cooper rambles after the reception of the first down. Tennessee now, as we're back to live action, Tony Robinson flips incomplete over the head of Charles Wilson, the tailback, who's also in there now at tailback with Cooper. Robinson giving to Wilson. Wilson battles past the 50-yard line down to the 46. And Tennessee uses its last time out, and here comes Fouad Reves to attempt a 63-yard field goal. He holds the record at Tennessee, 60 yards. That one near the end of the first half down at Georgia Tech. Here's the kick. The direction is good, but it is short. The team's leaving the field, the whistle sounding. And let's see, this may be one of the great comebacks of all time. The team's leaving the field but of course the field goal was missed and once it is officially missed then the clock is stopped it really wasn't it ticked away but now they reset the halftime clock and it shows three seconds to go and washington state leading 16 to 14 will have a chance to make it more tennessee with a three-man rush the volunteers in a prevent defense ripon steps up arches a long pass downfield it is Incomplete, batted down by Sims as the first half comes to a close. Washington State leading Tennessee by a score of 16 to 14. Halftime, it's halftime at the University of Tennessee as the pride of the Southland Band, directed by Dr. J. Julian, performs before a crowd in excess of 93,000. In the first half, the scoring went first, Washington State. The 11-yard pass, Ripien to James. Then Tennessee comes right back capping a 79-yard seven-play drive with an 11-yard run by Johnny Jones. After Tennessee fumbled a punt, it was recovered by Washington State as a volley 11, but Washington State settled for a 23-yard field goal, re-grabbing the lead at 10-7. Then Trout capped another fumble recovery with a 36-yard field goal. Tennessee grabbed the lead with 7.46 to go. A one-yard run by Jones, it was 14-13, but then Washington State grabs the halftime lead with a 19-yard field goal by Trout, so it's 16 to 14. Right now, 10 seconds for station identification. This is the UTV. Washington State leads Tennessee by a score of 16 to 14 as the Cougars will be kicking off. Here's that shift again. This is John Ward sending you the action from Leland Stadium. Opening night, 1984. Superlative halftime performance by the pride of the Southland Band, as always. The kick taken six, seven yards deep in the end zone and down by Wesley Pryor. So Tennessee goes on offense in the third quarter, trailing by two. Robinson. That's complete. Howard, the fullback, comes out of there to make the catch. Is shoved out of bounds by Harrington after a gain of eight yards. A second look. Good hands by Howard. And it will be second down and two. Back to the I formation. Williams, the left tackle for the Volunteers. Hand off. Howard pounding the middle. 
Needed about three, uh, two yards for the first down. Picks up five. First down, ten to go. In motion, that's Eichholz. Robinson, Jones, 35, 40, 41. Johnny Jones, scrambling for seven yards. It's second down and three. There you see the effort as he just squeezes between two would-be assailants and picks up seven yards. This is Howard. Howard up the middle to the 50, turning it into state territory at the 48-yard line. The Washington State defense keying heavily on Jones, and that opens it up a little in the middle, but Howard shows right there the power he has as a fullback. Let's go back to the end zone and look. That's Upton, number 70. 52, McKenzie. 35 is Howard. Picking up the extra yards as Tennessee has it first down. Swanson in motion. Jones. Oh, he stopped. And really stopping Tennessee for no gain. That's Howard, Eric Howard from Washington State. Tennessee's Howard is William. Second down and 10. Robinson sizing up a four-man front. Moving toward the south end of the football field. Robinson. McGee. To the 40. Good effort by McGee. Close to a first down. Good hands by McGee. And what an effort. You had to pirouette in midair as the pass was slightly behind him. Tennessee working horizontally. That shows you the strength of the arm of Tony Robinson. Jones will try for a first down, and he struggles forward, and Tennessee keeps its drive alive. Johnny Jones for a gain of two, and it's first down 10 at the 37-yard line. 16 to 14 in favor of Washington State. Third period of the game. The shifting defense trying to unnerve the junior quarterback. Jones with a pitch. Stumbles and falls after getting a couple of yards. It will be second down and eight. Knocked down by Hodge. Robinson off play action. Looking. In trouble. Rifles complete. John Cook. Tight end makes the catch. A senior from Knoxville. Robinson off play action. That's Upton pulling and making a block right there. And there you see that pass. John Cook. In the midst of three Cougars. Great athletic ability right there by Robinson. Still had the power to rifle the pass in. It's first down. Jones, 20, 15, 10, 9. Johnny Jones for Tennessee. Running on the right side, a second look. Moon and Mayo blocking, and Johnny Jones, he's passed 100 yards now, as the Volunteers will have it. Robinson, pitch to Jones. Five, cuts back, fights his way close to the goal line. I'm not sure. We'll wait and see. 30 is Cooper leading. There is Jones. Bump. Great balance. A third look. B.B. Cooper, number 30, out in front blocking. And trailing right behind him, Johnny Jones struggles it down just short of the goal line. For the Volunteers, it will be second down. And, well, now here's what's happened. On the play, a personal foul or a face mask. So actually, it's first down and goal for Tennessee. Robinson keeping. Touchdown, Big Orleans. Might have been a busted play. I'm not sure. But Robinson reacts perfectly. Saw the daylight on the right side and just noses it in for a touchdown. And Tennessee goes on top. Raves will be in to attempt the extra point toward the south end. It's good. The score, Tennessee 21, Washington State 16. Tennessee has stopped Washington State, the Volunteers leading, and into punt. This will be Harper, a bouncing punt, backing up his Benton. He feels the ball at the 20, breaks a man there to the 25, 30. This is Benton. Charles Benton, still rambling. Out in front, leading. That was... Charles Benton returning that punt 53 yards. 
earlier Charles fumbled and that uh, recovery really gave Washington State a field goal but let's see here oh what a field by and there you see Benton they've got a wall there's Cooper he makes a block the Tennessee coaching staff that's Duncan out there 14 is Brown and this will be Charles Benton Tennessee's got it first down 10 to go inside Washington State Territory this is Big Howard pounding up the middle Moon was out leading the interference also up front 52 McKenzie Tennessee will have the ball it's going to be second down and right at four yards to go ball rests at the 12 yard line Tennessee leads 21 to 16 in motion the pitch will go to Jones trying for the corner is slung down excellent pursuit by Waters on the play Tennessee guilty of a clip so here's the 15 yard step off against the volunteers moves the ball back out to the 27 yard line where it will become second down and 19 67 Mayo 74 moon 52 McKenzie 50 on the other side that will be uh, Williams this is Johnny Jones again running behind that right side 67 Mayo 85 I coach downfield trying to make a block there's Mayo here Cooper leading it and Jones working right behind his fullback picks up 10 yards on the play and it becomes third down and nine Robinson gives to Jones struggling didn't make it had to go all the way down to the four yard line for the first down so it's got to be fourth down and four and end to attempt the field goal will be Reves. this will be a 30 yard attempt there it is it's arching high and long and true Reves boots through the field goal and Tennessee leads by a score of 24 to 16 to cook off this will be Reves again deep will be James for the Cougars Washington State led at the end of the first half by two, but Tennessee has owned the third quarter thus far. Moving for a touchdown to go up 21 to 16. A beautiful punt return by Benton sets up a field goal. Reves. James at the four, five, 10, 15. Up to the 21 yard line. Where he has tackled 39 Welsh. Let's see if we can pick out the other players as it will be Washington State with Rippon at quarterback give to Mays they're waiting on him for Tennessee will be Carl Zander the linebacker on the right side Tennessee's defense stiffening perfect position Xander. good job by the up front defensive people taking away the interference and freeing the linebackers to stick the runner Rippon quick pitch Mays looking for room nothing there fumble Scramble, still loose, and Washington State recovers the ball. Rippon recovers the ball as it was popped from the runner by Duncan, I think. Let's check and see if 31. That's who it is. 31 makes the hit. There's the dive, but fine effort by Washington State's offensive lineman, and Rippon makes the recovery. There's Duncan, and Scott helped out from behind. Colford dives, but the ball caroms away from him and Rippon makes a dive to maintain possession but there's a loss on the play all the way back down to the 14 yard line Tennessee leading Washington State Rippon to pass here's the throw it is intercepted Tennessee Vince Clark Clark at the 30 Clark back to the 26 yard line Vince Clark free safety Delray Beach Florida Tennessee had five defensive backs in there. Here's Rippon. Clark playing the ball. And now you see Duncan turning, giving him a block. And then as he gets to the interior, the tackle is made. Tennessee with the football at the 26-yard line of Washington State. Howard fights his way for close to six yards down to the 20-yard line. It will be second down and four. Robinson rifles it complete that was McGee knocked down by Chappelle after a gain of seven and it will be first down and ten to go ball rested the 13 yard line Tennessee leads by a score of 24 to 16 Robinson 
Tennessee with two tight ends in the football game. The pitch to Jones. Gets a block from Howard. 10, 5, touchdown, Big Allen. Johnny Jones, 35, Howard. 90 is John Cook. Downfield, I didn't catch it. Probably McGee. Jones, let's see if we can see 88 come into your picture. Right there he is. That's McGee making the block and spitting in for his third touchdown, Johnny Jones. Ravaze, it is the Lord. And Tennessee builds its lead to 31 to 16. Tennessee trailed at the end of the half when this third quarter got underway, 16 to 14. The Vols have scored 17 unanswered points. The kickoff goes out of bounds at the five-yard line, and so Tennessee will be penalized for illegal procedure, moving the ball from the 40 back to the 35, from whence it will be Ravage kicking off again. Here's a beautiful shot from the sideline. You'll see that ball end over ending down. Right there, that will be James. Beautiful camera work by our crew. What a stick on the tackle there by Jesse Messimer. Messimer makes the stop. First down, 10 up to 21-yard line. Rippin. Marshalling his forces, passes complete. Fine catch. That was late in the tight end. Knocked down by Davis. Rippon has his team at the line at the 41-yard line. Tennessee's cheering section is going through its new cheer, the wave cheer. And it starts as people stand up, and then they just in tandem all the way around the stadium stand and cheer. Too much noise. Hand off. As the third quarter comes to a close, at the end of three, the score, Tennessee 31, Washington State 6-4. Quarter a jam-packed Neyland Stadium. Tennessee has seen Washington State punt. So we pick up the action. Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go at the volunteer 41-yard line. Robinson has gone all the way at quarterback. In motion, Swanson starts. Veers back to the right to give to Johnny Jones. Here he is, 50, Jones 45, Jones 40. 35-30, Johnny Jones rambling downfield for 47 yards in a first down. Johnny Jones nearing 200 yards. Rushing, look at this run. Look at the blocking, look at the cutback, breaking a tackle. And now look, 5, 10, 15, right at 21 yards, carrying the defender with him. First down, 10 to go for Tennessee at the 12. The ball's leading. Robinson, handoff Jones through the right side of the line. Picks up right at four yards this time. Knocked down at the eight-yard line by Tipton. Tennessee leading, threatening once more. Howard, inside the five, gets down to the four-yard line. Knocked down at that point by Howard. In motion, this is Hendricks, pitch to Jones, and he is stopped short, thrown for a loss. Fine defensive work by Washington State. Krakowski primarily responsible, or a base for the field goal attempt, which is up and splits there. So now Tennessee has scored 20 consecutive points, and the Vols lead by 18 which will force Washington State to score three times to win or tie. Kicking off will be Ravez in the fourth period. Sails it deep. James is going to bring it out. Goal line, five, ten. Knocked down at the 13-yard line. Tommy Sims. First and ten. Washington State, a very, very poised offensive football team. Lots of time left to go. 12 minutes to be exact. Rippon, 
complete at the 10. Up to the 15. Carrying the ball forward will be Breland. Or was that James? It was James who made the catch. Knocked out of bounds by Brown and Gopher. Gain of eight yards on the play. Second down two. Pitch made. Fighting for first down yardage. I think he got it. Although he was twisted and turned down by Jones. There you see Jones making the stop. Somebody else submarined. Let's see. The pitch. Mays. That was Brown who came up initially to make the hit, but it's a first down. In motion is Marshall. Tennessee leading by 18 points. Rippon. Throws the pass. It is complete. That again is James. 21-yard pickup. Rippon. One of the most sought-after quarterbacks as a high school senior in the country is showing you exactly why. Stand. Throws deflected at the line of scrimmage. Then Rippon might have caught the deflection and carried the ball forward. I'm sure he released the pass. As it is, he got really nothing on it. So it's second and ten. Rippon. Pass. It's complete. This time it's John Marshall who makes the catch and steps out of bounds, but he's got another first down, and he stops the clock. All important to Washington State to move the yardsticks and stop the clock. Rippon, first down 10, Tennessee 44-yard line. Rippon's going to run, 40, 35, not quite. Down at the 36-yard line, gain of eight, second down two. Rippon pumps. Pass deflected incomplete. Sims tipped the ball. Breland, the intended receiver, made a dive for the deflection. A second look. Here you'll see Sims going up, swatting it away. And you see the reaching Breland, but the pass is incomplete. Third and two. Play action. Rippon, good protection. Now it's breaking down. Swings out to the right side. Will carry the ball for the first down. Rippon feeling the pressure, but showed a little speed to the outside. It's first down and 10 at the 27-yard line. Pass out into the flat was intended for the and Kofer actually was hit in the back by the throw. It's incomplete. Second down, 10 at the 27. Tennessee leading by a score of 34 to 18. Pass incomplete. I said 34-18. It's actually, of course, 34-16. It's an 18-point game. A second look. Let's see the defender. In good position, 45, Xander. A tough assignment for a linebacker to follow a running back 20 yards, but he stayed with it. Rippon again, back to throw. It is complete. What a catch. Pretty good positioning by Joe Coper, but the receiver had the inside on him and made the catch. It's a first down. Rippon looking into the end zone. There's the pass. It is incomplete. Intended over there for Chase. Defending for Tennessee was Terry Brown. It will be second down and goal at the Tennessee 8. The Volunteers leading 34 to 16 in the fourth period. Washington State again. Tennessee, here comes the blitz. Rippon, pass over into the corner, complete. John Marshall makes the catch. As Rippon picks up the blitz and arches the pass, complete. Washington State's got to try for a two-point conversion. They trail by 12. Rippon looking. Plenty of time. It is complete for two points to James. And James wandering back and forth along the baseline as Rippon picks him up. Here's the pass. Good for two. And so the score is 34-24 Tennessee. Washington State back in the middle of the football game, trailing now by 10, and Trout will be kicking off. Will it be an onside? No, it's going to be down deep. Tennessee picked up there by, who was that, McGee, and then McGee sees a whole group of Washington State Cougars coming after him, so self-preservation prevails. First and 10 for Tennessee. The Volunteers lead by 10, but Washington State marched for a touchdown moments ago. Tennessee with a pitch to Johnny Jones. 20, Jones to the 25, pass to the 26-yard line. Two yards short of a first, maybe a little more. 
And Tennessee will have it second and about three yards to go. The Vols lead 34-24 in the final quarter. Less than seven minutes to go. Jones this time not much there. Good defensive play by Washington State. Hodge the first man. Third down, a couple of yards to go. Robinson in trouble. Rolling White's going to run with the ball. Tries for the first down, not so. He stops short by a yard. So Tennessee unable to pick up a first down and making his first appearance in the football game, Hunter Jimmy Colquitt, a senior from Knoxville. Deep will be chased, the punt away. It's a low kick, end over end. Takes a Tennessee roll at the 25-yard line of Washington State and will be downed short of the 20. Put the ball in play first down and send to go at the 22-yard line. Washington State, quick opening play up the middle. This will be Mays. And Mays comes spinning forward for a gain of 23 yards. A second look as Tennessee might have been expecting the pass. And here comes the draw, and it works perfectly for Mays. And Washington State continues to roll with that football. They trail 34 to 24, but they have the ball at the 45-yard line. Here's play action. Rippin with time. The pass. It's complete. Chase makes the catch and is chased out of bounds. But Washington State has another first down. Moving down to the Tennessee 43-yard line. Rippin. Pass complete. Burris makes the catch. And in three lightning-like plays, Washington State trailing by 10 has moved the ball downfield. Here's the pass to Burris. Great, great play by Rippon. And Washington State explodes downfield. They have the ball at the 21-yard line. Rippon, here's the pass. It is incomplete. Cooper defending against Marshall right inside the pylon at the goal line. Clock stops, of course. Less than four minutes. Give. Mays. Sander. 45. Tolls or Jones. It was Jones, 54. Third down, eight. Big third down play, Rippon. Here's the blitz. Here's the pass. It is... Penalty marker down. It was caught by Marshall, but it is ruled incomplete, I think. Let's wait and see. A second look. Defending is Cooper. Cooper, their interference... There's the catch, and it is ruled, however, an incomplete forward pass. Pass interference against Tennessee gives Washington State an automatic first down. Here's the pitch, Mays. No, he stopped short, 31 Duncan. It will be second down and goal. Two big things out of that ruling. It was not a touchdown. And Washington State running with the football. Tennessee stacks them up again. Knifing through the left side this time was Calvin. The clock continues to run. That's another big factor. Washington State third down. Rippon slots that right side. Marshall 18, 36 Mays. Rippon misdirection, pitches the ball to Mays, and there's Jones. And he stops short. It will be fourth down. A second look. The play by Jones right here, and then climbing to clean up will be Brown. Jones took about everything he had. And here's Trout for a field goal. It is up, and it is good. So Washington State made the decision to cut it to seven, and you can expect an onside kick right here. They may shift again as well. They've been shifting on most of their kickoffs. Tennessee has a lot of receivers and backs up there in that front line. They've got nine men from the 50 to the 45. Here's the onside try. Good effort. It is juggled and then pinned. And I believe Tennessee has possession. Once the ball goes 10 yards on a kickoff, it's a free ball. And Tennessee Sims covers the ball. So the Volunteers have it first down. Tennessee in motion. Eichholz reverses, comes back. Robinson to Jones, he stacked up and stopped. Short of the first down, a loss of three yards on the play. Tennessee needs a first down desperately. Robinson's gonna keep Robinson running, 50. Robinson dives down to the 45-yard line. 
Tennessee at that point will have it third down and two, and Washington State uses its final timeout. Third and two. Robinson. Jones. First down and more. Tennessee could very well salt it away. Williams out leading the blocking. 70 is Upton. Tennessee to the line. Washington State has used all of its timeouts. And Robinson uses every second off the play clock that he can. Howard the fullback. And this is he. And this is Howard battling forward for yardage. William Howard picks up eight yards on the play. Johnny Jones has gone over 200 yards in the game rushing and has scored three touchdowns. Howard, first down for Tennessee. A gain of four. So William Howard gives Tennessee a first and 10 at the state 28 and the seconds are ticking away. Robinson has one eye on that play clock. I'm not sure but what he might just take a penalty here. Touches it down as the football game comes to a close. And Tennessee wins 34 to 27. We'll talk with Coach Johnny Majors when we return in a moment. And this is the biggest one of 84 because it's the first one. Thanks, Coach. Thank Coach Johnny Majors, whose team wins tonight at Washington State 34 27. We'll be in the locker room visiting with members of the Volunteers in just a moment. Well, you know, it's it's a great feeling to win that first, you know, my first start, everything, you know, I'm, I'm so I'm so happy, you know, I don't even know what to say right now. You know, we won that game, you know, we wanted to win this first one. It was it was a crucial one, you know, on our list, so we had to win that first one, and we went out and done it. You came out winging the ball. I guess that took some of the pressure off when you made that first completion? Well, you know, I, I didn't see it as a pressure. I just seen it as a challenge, and, you know, I just wanted to go out there, do my best, you know, get, get completion, make uh, good decisions, and, you know, Things went my way tonight. Offensive line gave you some time to do some things. Yeah, offensive line was great. You know, uh, everybody was talking about offensive line, but, you know, after tonight, you know, I think it kind of quiet things down because the offensive line done one heck of a job. Congratulations, Tony. Thank you. Member of the volunteer defense linebacker, Alvin Tolls. Alvin, the offense, three turnovers in the first half. Could have been crucial. You guys kind of held the fort there. Yeah, they did have three turnovers, but, you know, they, they, uh, they got a new quarterback and they got you know, a fairly young offensive line. You know, we kind of expected that, but, you know, defense, we had a little experience, and we just felt you know, like that we you know, just had uh, uh, well, just the experience and the yeah. toughness. You know, it could have been 21 to 7 early in the game, but instead you held it to those three field goals, 13 to 7. He had a chance to come back. Yeah, it, yeah, we did, but uh, uh, <laughs> I got kind of nervous right now. <laughs> That's all right. It was a big win. Yeah, it was. Offensive tackle David Moon with us. David, the offensive line tonight, I thought was outstanding. Well, we had some problems early on, and and they did some. They really didn't do anything that we didn't expect. We were just young and had to be able to adjust to them physically. Took the ball down the field the first time you had it. That had to be a confidence builder. That was that made us feel good. I was glad when we did and did it several times. We just did some stupid things to stop ourselves. That's what I think Tennessee did. That's when you look back, you really did stop yourself all night. Jimmy Colquitt punt, punted once, and if uh, we can keep him off the field all night, we're doing our job. You had to be satisfied with how the offense clicked tonight. Um, sometimes I was. Like I said, you know, when we we bogged down, we we uh, fumble the ball on the option play and, and take the sack. That doesn't make me happy, but. Other than that, we did some pretty good things. What's some things to build on? Some things to build on. We've got an open week, so I guess we'll build. Huh? That's another member of the Tennessee offensive line, offensive guard Bill Mayo. Bill, the offensive line, some people thought was a question mark. It didn't look like that tonight. Well, I think we played a good game, especially that last drive where we ran out the clock. That's, that's a big confidence builder for us tonight, and we need to, oh, I'm sure we made some mistakes we'll see in the film, but we, we keep improving. We can be a good offensive line. The Tennessee offensive line today helps sustain a couple of long drives, and that's a goal. Yeah, that, it always is. You know, you want to move the ball down the field, need up the clock, and keep the defense off the field, and score points. And we did pretty much all that. I guess with Johnny Jones, the way he hits the hole so quick, if you just give him a little seam, he can go, and that's what he did. Uh, Johnny had a great night making a run at the Heisman Trophy. What about his offensive lineman? That make you feel good? Yeah, it makes you feel great. You know, you see his name with that, you know that you're part of that, and that's that's, just, that's a great feeling for an offensive lineman to know that your running back is in contention for the Heisman Trophy. This is Mumford's Johnny Jones. Again, over 200 yards. Johnny, good way to start the season. Oh, yes, it is. You know, we've been work really working hard for this, so it's really paid off for. Johnny, you look awfully quick tonight. You're hitting the holes pretty quick. Have you been working on that during the offseason? Oh, yes, I have. You know, during the summer, I really worked pretty hard. You know, almost my leg strength, so it really helped me out a lot. 
Offensive line, you had to be pleased with the way they opened the holes for you, though. Oh, yes, I am. You know, I've been telling everyone, you know, the offensive line really good. You can't underestimate them, so they really look really well tonight. In your past seasons at Tennessee, the opener is always a tough one. You got it behind you now and ready to look to bigger and better things, I guess. Oh, yes, it is. You know, we've been really working hard for this first game because, you know, I've been the first one we don't we don't want for our, for the seniors for us the seniors so we've been striving hard you know to win this one. I guess the offense tonight the only glaring thing is the fact you stopped yourself with some fumbles and some penalties. Yes, yeah, you know, but we're gonna work on that. We're gonna get that done between here and next game. So that's the word from the Tennessee locker room. The Volunteers is a winner over Washington State, 34-27. Open week next week, and then Utah comes to town.